Right, this is a new product from Ursa. This is called the Ursa Mini Mount. And we've, what we've done here is we've tried to make the smallest radio mic mount possible. So this one's designed for a COS 11. So here's a COS. What you do is you just press it in like that. And it can uh, poke out a little bit from the top, or you can press it down. And it just sits in flush. And the idea with this mount is it's just as small and as thin and as low profile as possible. And that really makes it easy to rig these in very awkward places where you normally couldn't rig a big mount. And also because it's been finished to be as smooth as possible, the coarse fabric when it rubs against the smooth plastic really doesn't make much noise at all. So it really helps reduce clothing rustle. So they come in four different colors, black, white, beige, and brown. And we also have a range for DPAs. So this is for the DPA 4060. I'll just show you here. So that's the 4060. You just sort of pop it in, press it down, and now that's sort of well rigged in place. That's very firmly there. And it's just that really only adds about a millimeter to the overall impression of the microphone. And I'll show you as well the 4071. And this is a slightly bigger mic. Pop that in, press it. Again, that's nicely firmly in place. And the key thing about these is you can just put them in places where you can't put big amounts. I'll show it on this mannequin here. So I'll start off with the uh, kind of really tricky usual situation with just a, let's just say a shirt, where you can't normally stick a mic, say, between the buttons, because you might see this area. So what we've done with the mini mount is we've, as they're so thin, and I'll just take off the sticky from the back of this one, as they're so thin, you can rig them just kind of behind a button, like that. So that's in a good spot, the center of the chest, but if I was to do this button up now, and just look from the side, that is very well hidden. And that's just in a really useful spot, so that the camera won't see it, but also it stays in a good spot for the best sound from the center of the chest. Now, other, other ways that you can rig them to take advantage of their small size are on a zipper. As we usually, when you're working on a hoodie, you'd normally think, okay, well, let's put the mic there. Well, what you can do is you can just stick the mini mount to the back of the zipper, just like that. So that's a black 4060 and a mini mount. You see that? And that, then the other obviously convenience is that it stays on the zipper and it allows it to go up and down. Whereas I think if it was a bigger mount, it wouldn't do that very easily. It wouldn't fit in that place. And also, because they're small, they're great to work into tights. So this is a black mount on a COS 11. And we've just turned it this way up because we think that when you press it into a tie, when it's facing with the U downwards, it actually leaves less of, a, less of an impression. And it's just a, a very convenient way to rig a tie, and very fast. But the other good thing about these mounts is that they stick really well onto skin, especially onto cleavages and just generally onto the chest. And I'm wearing one right now. And yeah, if you can uh, hear any rustle. But basically because it's so low profile, you don't really see, you don't see an impression of it. Even if I push right out, the mic's there, but you don't see a lump. And that's just because it's just very low profile. And I just, if I dare, I'll show you quickly just to prove it. There you go. So it's a 4060. Um, and they're just great on skin because a large amount being flat and large doesn't necessarily stick well to skin that moves and bends because any, any sort of skin surface is not likely to be flat. Um, so you're much better off with actually a very sticky small mount than a large one because it's likely to just unpeel. But the other little uh, trick with these mounts is wind protection. I think they're really handy for rigging for wind protection. And we've been working on some new products at Ursa to for wind protection. And we're gonna show you a little sneak peek now. So we already have the soft circles, the range of four colors of soft circles that you can use for wind protection. But we also have a slightly lower profile version with fur. So this one's got short length of fur and we're calling these plush circles. So they come in four colors and they're just really soft, light fur. And we think these can help with wind, wind noise. So I'll just demonstrate how to use one of these with a mini mount to get a little bit of wind protection. So let's say that our chap here is a windy day and he's picking up a bit of wind noise on this mic. So what we can do is we'll get a uh, Ricoat Sticky-O. So this is a really cool little product from Ricoat. And as it's got a hole in the center, you can stick that onto one of our mounts. So put that on a plush circle, peel that off. And then it's just a really quick way to just go up to this mic. Oh, it's got a bit of wind on it. We'll just stick it over the top of the mount like this, like that. Press it down. 
And what that's done is it's created a little gap of air which is going between the fabric and the mic and just that in itself really helps reduce noise from wind. So there you go, it doesn't really create any extra lump and it's very good to stop wind. So it's been a little video here to demonstrate the mini mount, the plush circles and also just to talk about the unique, the unique shape of these mounts. And because they are a unique shape we thought it was worthwhile just developing our own stickies as well just so it's really easy for someone to pick up the mounts and have some pre-cut bespoke stickies. So you can buy a pack of stickies for them, a pack of 30, and then hopefully just all together that makes them an easy package to let people get straight into getting a mic onto someone with the minimum amount of fuss and hopefully to get the best results. I hope this has been a useful video. Thank you for your time.